Throughout the life of Moses, the biggest handicap in his life was his anger. Someone spoke, the patriarch spoke of a bad bloodline and said, cast me your anger. And Moses is a man that God is lifting. He's a man that God is lifting. Like him, a babu, Levi, Wanamuka. Anger makes Moses kill someone when Moses is the first Christ to bow. Anger makes Moses miss the promised man. The anointing in his life was huge. But the issue with the strong man, the patriarch, was of equal measure. What is Victor saying? The anointing in your life, the gifting in your life, is directly proportional to what the patriarch spoke about you. And if you don't deal with that thing, how do you have a put up a pilot's camera office? One day you are a prince of Egypt. Next day you are running for a life. Because someone said, cast be your anger. He told the patriarch that patriarch and Chukua was passed down. 400 years later, God says, I'm busy they look at it until the fourth generation. 400 years later, a man called Moses is taken out of destiny because of anger. Because a patriarch said, cast be your anger. Today we are saying this. It doesn't matter what the devil said. It doesn't matter what the patriarch said. But just like Abraham, he made a choice and said, I will walk away from my father. I will walk away from the altars of my father. I will walk away from the covenants of my father. And I want to command myself with you, Lord. I want to use the power of the Holy Ghost. Who can go back in time and come back to the future to break whatever was said about my life without my knowledge? Today, what is Victor saying? I want you to take authority over the patriarch of your family and speak and nullify whatever they spoke. That authority is in you. In the new covenant, you have power by the cross to speak and break the yokes of the patriarch. But because of the power of the Holy Ghost in me, I can tell that patriarch as for me and the house, we are serving the Lord. And therefore, I will get that job. I will drive that car. My marriage will stand. My children will not be in drugs. We will not serve altars. We are refusing to serve altars we do not know about. To number two, if time allows today, we are going to go to war with the laws. The ones who are carrying the things that are being used to fight our lives. We shall fight that today and on Sunday. Amen. We say we are bringing down altars. And enough is enough. Enough is enough. God is good. 